Microbes. Topic, Della Vibrio Bacteriovorus. Presented to you by Hope Cranberg. So what exactly is Della Vibrio Bacteriovorus? It is a very small, obligate arrow gram-negative bacteria that is also motile, curved, and rod-shaped. They also prey on other gram-negative bacteria, therefore it is a parasitic symbiotic relationship with a prey bacteria. Hence why the prefix delo means leech. Within the phylogenetic tree, there are bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. We will be focusing on bacteria. Within bacteria are different phylums. Della Vibrio is a proteobacteria. And more specifically, a delta proteobacteria. Species under this class are primarily sulfate and sulfur-reducing bacteria dissimilative iron reducers, and bacterial predators. The bacteria was discovered in 1962 by Stolp and Starr. They discovered it in a soil sample upon a quest to isolate bacteriophage from soil samples. Instead, they recognized small, motile, vibrio-shaped cells. The life cycle consists of two parts. The first is non-growing attack phase, which is free swimming and looking for prey. The second is the reproductive phase. Della Vibrio will attach to its prey. And after attachment, Della Vibrio will lose its flagellum. It penetrates the host cell wall and replicates in the periplasm space. The new spherical structure is called a deloplast. After penetration comes elongation. This stage takes approximately 40 to 60 minutes. Della Vibrio feeds on the prey and as nutrients decreases, lysis will begin. Daughter Della Della Vibrio gain a flagellum and disperse to find their next prey. This stage lasts from 2.5 hours to 4 hours. There are several proteins involved in survival. Research performed by, do by Dr. Laura Hobley in 2012 discovered the following. Gene DGCC controlled the transition from attack phase to replicated phase. Gene DGCA controlled the gliding motility when new Della Vibrios exited the lysed prey. Della Vibrio mutants lacking gene DGCA could not develop flagellum for new progenies. BD1482 encoded for PILZ domain protein. This potentially was used to receive signals from gene DGCA to affect gliding machinery. Mutation of gene DGCD resulted in no observable phenotypic difference, and so the exact role for this gene is still a bit uncertain. Gene DGCB controlled essential processes of Della Vibrio entering into the prey. It also regulated host hydrolytic and prey modifying degrading proteins. Gene CDGA organized the processes at the front of the head and has been a crucial component for prey invasion. 
However, unfortunately, much has yet to be discovered about the metabolism of Davilibrio bacteriovorus, and this is because it cannot be grown in a medium due to unknown nutritional concentrations. However, previous research has supported that Delavibrio bacteriovorus produces ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. Since prokaryotes lack complex organelles, the process occurs across the prokaryotic cell membrane. Della Vibrio and like organisms have been found in numerous environments such as soil samples, rhizosphere of plant roots, rivers, oceans, water treatment plants, oyster shells, the gills of crabs, and within the feces of hens and other mammals. The exact ecological role of Della Vibrio bacteriovorus is still uncertain and under research. However, based on natural selection, it could be assumed that Della Vibrio bacteriovorus assists in the improvement of species fitness. This is because only individuals who survive and reproduce shall pass on their genetic information. Therefore, individuals who, who survive from Della Vibrio bacteriovorus are already better off than other affected individuals. Possible benefits of this species could be used to control target gram-negative bacteria populations within an environment, or it could also potentially be used as a form of medical treatment towards gram-negative bacterial diseases. Thank you.